Elon Musk yesterday announced that Tesla is working on a new manganese battery cell. You know, yesterday the entire attention of the automotive world and especially electric vehicle enthusiasts and Tesla enthusiasts were on Giga Berlin, where Giga Berlin was celebrating its opening, sold 30 Model Y electric vehicles. Elon Musk was personally handing over to the first employee, uh, first uh, owners of Giga Berlin, but at the fellowship with employees, he made an important announcement about a future Tesla battery. And this report is about that. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. So Elon Musk announced that yesterday that Tesla sees potential in battery chemistry with a manganese-based cathode. What does this mean? The CEO reiterated that the industry needs to focus more on the battery supply chain down to the minerals because minerals are important if you want to build a lot of electric vehicles and Tesla CEO is right on. During a speech to Tesla Gigafactory Berlin employees following the delivery of the first Model Y made at the factory, Musk was asked about graphene-based batteries. Like many others in the industry, Elon Musk said he was skeptical due to the complexity of making graphene, but he, or maybe, yeah, graphene, or I didn't, I didn't know whether you pronounced in English as graphene or graphene, graphite. So anyway, but he did say that Tesla was working on making batteries out of more materials. This is good to diversify making batteries out of more materials because you can't have enough batteries as the entire world is shifting toward electrification of transportation and vehicles. The CEO of Tesla reiterated that for the foreseeable future, Tesla, like the rest of the industry, will focus on nickel-based chemistries for longer-range vehicles and iron phosphate for shorter-range vehicles. But Musk added a brief but interesting comment about manganese-based battery. Now stick with me because I'm going to tell you who used manganese batteries first in electric vehicles. He said, I think there is an interesting potential for manganese manganese. This means Tesla is already doing some research with manganese batteries for future Tesla vehicles. Tesla has been exploring using more manganese in its battery cells for a while. Now, at Tesla Battery Day in 2020, if you remember, Elon Musk said the following. He said, it is relatively straightforward to do a cathode that's two-third nickel and one-third manganese, which will allow, which will allow us to make 50% more cell volume with the same amount of nickel. Today, the CEO of Tesla didn't elaborate beyond saying that Tesla was working on it, but it made it sound like it could be a solution along with nickel and iron-based chemistries. At very large scale, we need tens, maybe hundreds of millions of tons ultimately. So the battery, uh, the materials used to produce these batteries at a very large scale need to be common materials or you can't scale. Now, keep in mind, I'm not talking about new battery size. This doesn't mean if you are new to the electric vehicle batteries, this doesn't mean that Tesla is going to replace manganese batteries with 4680 batteries. 4680 is about the size. Manganese or lithium ion or nickel or whatever or LFP, we're talking about the chemistry of the battery. The battery size may stay, still be the 4680 batteries, but we're talking about the different chemicals ingredients inside batteries, diversifying, diversifying this. Now, several research groups have published papers on promising manganese-rich cathode batteries that could offer interesting options with a higher energy density than iron phosphate and potentially lower price than nickel-rich batteries. Manganese is already used by Tesla in some battery chemistries, electric reports, but it is not 
the prominent component of any of them. For example, NMC chemistry used a lot of manganese and Tesla has used the chemistry for its power vault before. Nissan also has used a manganese rich cathode in the original battery of the Leaf. The CEO reiterated the need to focus on battery mineral supply to accelerate the transition to electric transport and renewable energy. Elon Musk said that Tesla estimates that the world is going to need 300 terawatt hour of battery cell production in order to transition fully to a sustainable world. Look, Tesla CEO reiterated that the industry needs to focus more on the battery supply chain down to the mineral. This is very true and important. Electric vehicles are now starting to catch on big time and there is not a mining industry big enough to support it yet. The mining for copper, lithium, cobalt, manganese, aluminum, nickel, etc. all need to grow. Like I said, the electric vehicles are now starting to catch on big time. Yesterday, two days before, I was speaking with my neighbors in our neighborhood. We have a nice neighborhood where people communicate with another. Let's say weather is nice and about five o'clock kids go outside and play after school and the neighbors parents uh, go outside talk to each other and one of my neighbors bought a tesla and everybody were talking about that as well as the other ones that i want to buy a hyundai ionic 5 electric vehicle and everybody else were talking about you know looking into tesla or electric vehicles in the future so this is why the mining industry need to be big enough and not a single one can support all of this this means more people and more com competition for mineral resources Musk is suggesting that Tesla is the only one going down to the minerals. Volkswagen has been on record to making deals with the biggest minerals on the market. Same with General Motors. Everybody with billions of dollars of investments on the line has gone down through the whole supply chain. Batteries are the biggest limitations and uh, enablers of electric vehicles and it is seen the biggest investment from all parties involved. I have to say that Elon Musk's words are timely. The limiting factor was just discussing the potential for manganese in LFP chemistries and why he thought it was a way Tesla was going to go. Manganese has been a major component for common mass-produced alkaline batteries for a very long time. Everybody's been recycling those, right? I wonder where we can find new manganese project opportunities. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section, please. I'm constantly impressed by Tesla's innovation and willingness to provide and apply its technologies to help others. Deployment of satellites to help communication in disaster areas, providing solar and power to those without just in all around excellent, impressive company. Keep up the good work, Tesla. And uh, another reason Elon Musk's new battery announcement is a good news is because uh, we should not have all eggs in one basket. Do you agree with this? I think this is very important. Uh, by the way, speaking of manganese batteries for electric vehicles, I think, like I said, the first generation of Nissan Leaf used manganese batteries, very safe chemistry. In fact, in 2019, Nissan said, although it is lithium ion manganese actually it's lithium ion manganese oxide batteries will gradually lose capacity they should have 10 useful years they should still retain 70 to 80 percent of their original 100 to 225 mile driving range at that point depending on the model and therefore still be good as cd hoppers um, i'm sure tesla uh, after so many years of research will come up with uh, safe and better ways to build better batteries this is armin harayan from torquenews.com let me know what you think friends uh, about tesla's new manganese batteries please subscribe to this channel for daily breaking tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage god bless you peace be with all of you and with the world and have a wonderful day see you soon in our next tesla report